Hello, my friends. Uh, just, just as all of us are waking up today, um, and you can see what the news is blasting all over everything because it's not really news; it's just opinion pieces. It used to, what they used to call news, used to factually just give most of the information. Now, what they call news is a panel of people giving their opinions on information. And this panel of people always are those who believe themselves to be right about absolutely everything. Their pride is sky high. You cannot even get truth out of them because they're incapable of giving any of it. Even about factual things such as a pen being red or blue. If they truly thought the pen was red, they would lie about the color of it. The way that the media does things and reports on things is it reports on what it wants to report on. It doesn't report on things that are not fitting the memo that is going to get them ratings. So for instance, this shooting that just happened last night outside of Dayton, Ohio, apparently nine dead, 16 wounded, another mass shooting, hardly see anything about it anywhere. Uh, why is that? Why would we not care about another shooting of nine people and a bunch of people wounded? Because this isn't the narrative that's over the political world, which is about um, hatred and racism and, and, and all of these things about the border and all that. This, this doesn't fit their narrative to, to boost their ratings. So this is, this is going to be put back in the back burner. Nobody cares about these nine people. They're just a second thought. They'll get a passing glance over or they'll be brought up in conversation whenever people are talking about gun control is saying, well, this is another example of why we should do it. Um, but nobody will report or care about this story. The story, obviously, that everybody is focusing on within the media is the one that is uh, the El Paso shooting because, obviously, it, it talks... Um, People were saying it's a hate crime, you know, another young white male that gets his AK-47 and goes out and kills a bunch of Hispanics, um, another hate crime, so they're going to be pounced all over this within the media. Um, but all of this, you just have to understand, uh, as far as what we see scripturally happening, it's, it's all going to get far worse than what you see now and it's going to continue to be the uptick until the lord comes down and then it all blows up and the reason for this is people want to blame you know guns or blame video games or blame people for being racist and all of these things the truth of the matter is, are those who report on these things, the media, which is the image of the beast, you can look at what John saw as the image that is a mirror image of the political world that leads people astray. It is, it is a form of the image of the beast. The media comes down upon whom they want to come down on, and they lift up whom they want to lift up. So the media has indeed instilled it into young white kids who have not been raised by parents that raised them properly with a rod, but the parents let them do whatever they wanted because the parents never truly loved them. This has been instilled into this generation of young white kids especially, that they are hated by everybody. That culture hates them, that the media hates them, that they are automatically hated just by their skin color for being a white male they're already hated and so they go off of that that's what feeds the rage that you see within these people that do these kind of shootings that fit the so-called prototypical standard of what a mass shooter looks like and it's not anything to do with anything else other than the culture, which is grown and raised in part by the image of the beast, spread with lawlessness because they do not have fear in the Lord, spread with parenting that never instilled that fear because the parents never had the fear of the Lord, and the parents spoke a lot of things with their mouths but never had belief in their heart. All of this comes down upon this group of people who have no foundation, no rock, 
So they turn to violence. They turn to the only thing that they know. And it causes them from their own heart to go out and commit murder. And then they pick up the gun and then go out and physically do it. Because remember, murder doesn't come from somebody picking up a gun and pulling a trigger. Murder comes from the heart. And the country and all the people, well, how can we fix this? What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to all come together. We're going to stand firm. It's going to be wonderful. The, these things are going to, you know, they're terrible, but we're going to come together. No, we're not. Because murder has already happened in the heart. The blood is already on the hands of all of those people who lead the whole world astray. And for these ones that pick up the gun and go and do it, all they're simply doing is acting upon the flesh because they have no fear of the Lord to prevent them from doing the things of the flesh. But the murder has already happened. The murder has already happened over the whole culture. People have all murdered each other in their hearts. They've hated each other for no reason other than they have been taught and led to believe that they are hated, therefore they hate it's the same thing as do unto others as others do unto you. It's the law. It's those who live by the sword die by the sword. It's all the same thing. Murder occurs in the heart. And the heart of all of these people that you see doing this is just a reflection of your culture and your society that has raised them. It's not any more their fault than it is the person on the news who's lying about what people are. Everyone that's bearing false witness against everyone is also murdering, just as that kid went out and shot these 26 people, or whatever the case is. Murder has already happened in the heart of the whole country. And there is no coming back and standing firm. There's no coming back and saying we're going to come together. The same people that are saying we're going to come together are the same people that has divided you. Everything that they want for themselves, they're doing, and they're pushing it all on the backs of everybody else. So no matter what you hear um, this morning from anyone who's talking about these things, the main points of it all are that in this country and all over the world, just as Jesus described, the end would look before he comes. The love of most has grown cold. Without love... Your heart desires to murder and to take. It's only love that keeps you from acting upon that. When you don't have love, then your physical body will act out what is already inside of the heart. If the heart is not right, nothing in the body is right. If the eyes cannot see, the whole body walks in darkness. And it is because of love that this generation lacks from lots of things that there is no fear of the Lord instilled in them. So the flesh acts out what the heart desires, because the hearts of human beings are wicked, every single one of us. It's only the Spirit of God and a man that be born again that his heart is rebuilt like the clay. Any man, doesn't matter if they're a pastor, a minister, a drug dealer, a psychopathic murderer, they all have the same heart. It's what level of fear do they have in the Lord that prevents their flesh from acting out what their heart desires. And you can see in Deuteronomy just one example. So the Lord commanded us to observe all of these statutes, to fear the Lord our God for our good always and for our survival as it is today. If the flesh wants to survive, it will fear the Lord. Otherwise, the flesh will kill itself off. And that's what happens when there is no love. When there's no love in the house, when there's no love between parents and their children, the children grow up without love, and those children, not the parents, are the one that commit the acts of the flesh. That's why in one generation, it takes one generation to go from building skyscrapers to destroying them all. It takes one generation. It's always the next generation that plants and picks the, or picks the crop that the generation before them planted. And that's why you see these young people, especially, committing these types of crimes. Because they were raised in a house without the fear of the Lord, raised without love, never knowing these statutes, 
never instilling that, never being obedient to parents, because the parents never used a rod of discipline for the children, and then they hear all over the media that they're hated by everybody, and then the flesh feels threatened. So the flesh then goes out and commits the act. It's as simple as that. This nation will not come together. This nation is... God is not with this nation. God is with people in this nation that are in the wilderness. People like you and I. But God is not with this nation. God is tearing this nation apart. There is no peace in this nation. Do not let anybody tell you that there is peace. Peace, 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 they say. Peace and safety. There is no peace. God has taken the rod of taken the peace away so that the judgment is on our own throats it's on our backs that which we want that which we desire he's given it over to this country so you will see all of these things increase up until the day he comes and when the day he comes then the whole thing blows up because no more is the angels keeping their hands off of the winds of destruction because those who are in the wilderness right now in the world, people like you and I, were gone. Therefore, like a flood, comes the end. God bless. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us.